Let me turn next to, uh, to Richard Goldstone. Uh, Justice Goldstone, you have uh, been involved yourself in a number of investigations on behalf of the United, Station, uh, United Nations, including uh, one where you uh, performed investigations of the United States, the nations itself at the very highest levels. Um, uh, maybe you can give us some insight into that investigation, how uh, successful you thought it was, uh, and how well you think it, it, it represents a, a kind of culture of accountability within the UN itself. Thank you, Dan. Um, to set the context very, very briefly, the, the, the Oil for Food program uh, of the United Nations grew out of the sanctions that had been imposed, that had been imposed on the government of Saddam Hussein uh, uh, in response to his um, human rights violations and arising out of the uh, um, uh, war in Iraq and um, his, his re refusal to, to give, to, 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 to purportedly, purportedly uh, create weapons of mass destruction. The oil sanctions imposed on Iraq began causing huge hardship to the people of Iraq. And some nations, particularly uh, uh, Russia and, and, and another, uh, a number of governments influenced by the Russian Federation, wanted to call off the sanctions uh, because they were concerned about the hardship being being caused by them on ordinary people uh, in Iraq. Needless to, needless to say, Saddam Hussein uh, did, didn't have to lower his standard of living uh, or have less palaces as a result of the sanctions, but the ordinary people uh, were the people who, who, who were bearing the brunt of the sanctions. And under the leadership of the United States, it was the Clinton administration, uh, a, a interesting um, compromise was made. The United Nations Security Council said to Iraq, you may now sell your oil, uh, but only, only uh, through the UN. The proceeds are to be paid into a bank appointed by the UN, turned out to be the French bank BNP Paribas, and the money can be used by the Iraqi government to purchase only humanitarian goods no goods that could be, uh, have a purpose for building uh, weapons of mass destruction, no, no uh, uh, goods that had a dual purpose, and an inspection mechanism was set up. The amount of oil sold under that oil for food program set up by the Security Council and the amount of humanitarian goods purchased came to well over $100 billion. It's more than the budget of many members of the United Nations. And it was, it obviously had to be administered through to the UN. After a few years of this administration of the fund by the UN, uh, rumors began to circulate and political pressure built up, particularly in the United States Congress, uh, in, in, in connection with allegations that senior officials of the UN uh, had been uh, dipping into the uh, proceeds of the oil for food program. Um, the, the, the pressure on the then Secretary General Kofi Annan grew, in particular because it turned out that his son Kojo was employed by a Swiss firm, Katekna, uh, which had been given a very lucrative contract as, as really the chief inspector of the humanitarian goods entering, entering uh, uh, Iraq. And um, uh, the, the, the pressure grew and grew, and eventually Kofi Annan decided that he had to set up an independent investigation to look into these allegations. And he appointed a three-person uh, invest independent investigating committee uh, led by Paul Volcker, uh, the former head of the uh, United States Reserve. And uh, he, he was really chosen to give confidence to, to the United States uh, uh, political leaders, in Congress in particular. And uh, Kofi Annan uh, uh, ordered the officials in his secretariat to cooperate fully with the Independent Commission. Um, little, little did he anticipate that that cooperation would very soon in, uh, involve handing over 
for inspection the hard drives of every computer on the 38th floor of the United Nations building where the Secretariat <coughs> is housed. But I must say, much, much to his credit, there were no holes barred and, and every request uh, that our committee made uh, was, was dealt with positively. We collected some 13 million f uh, documents <coughs> during the investigation. It was an extremely expensive investigation. Fortunately, there was Iraqi money available to pay for it. But, but in any event, it, 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 it was time doesn't permit to go into any detail. But let me say that, that the, committee, the committee's work um, resulted in, in a number of reports, uh, public reports that are still available on the internet. And uh, the, the conclusions of the committee were many. But, but we certainly cleared uh, all but one senior official of any wrongdoing. Um, and the, the, the Secretary General, certainly Kofi Annan, uh, was, was, uh, was clear positively of having benefited directly or indirectly uh, from, from the Oil for Food program. One of the Under Secretary Generals who was in charge of the program, uh, Benon Savan, a Cypriot, uh, it appeared had received a, an oil contract from the Russians, which he sold uh, and made a profit of something that, if my memory serves me correctly, about $165,000, which was really a pittance in the, in the context of a, a over $100 billion uh, a, a program. Um, he, he would have been indicted uh, for, for fraud uh, uh, if he had not fled the United States and returned to Cyprus, uh, which fortunately for him did not have an extradition treaty uh, with the United States, so he's still hiding out in Cyprus. The committee let me in by saying, made a number of recommendations. Some of them were carried out, some of them weren't. The problem with the Oil for Food program was it was really too big for the United Nations to handle. $102 billion was off the radar screen. And, uh, and on the normal UN rules, secretariat rules, there should have been about 100 auditors plus watching the, the, the administration of the fund. There were about three. So the, 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 there was our committee held a, 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 a substantial um, lack of proper administration, maladministration in the implementation of the fund. Um, we, we made recommendations about the way in uh, uh, this sort of uh, uh, program should be if it ever arose again in the future. We recommended, and I think the most important recommendation we made that hasn't been carried out was the appointment of a chief, operation, chief operating officer for the UN. One, one of the many problems in the administration of the UN is that the Secretary General is not only the administrative chief, which was envisaged by the Charter, but he's also a political, a, a political leader. Uh, it wasn't anticipated by the original drafters of the UN Charter that the Secretary General should occupy a political office. But, but it has mainly because of the personalities and the intellects of Secretary General uh, from the first to, uh, to the present, uh, who, who have uh, regarded themselves and been really pushed into a situation where they've had to occupy uh, not only administrative but also diplomatic functions. And it's really too much for one person or one office to handle. And we suggested really that the Secretary General should be divested of being primarily responsible for the operations, for the administration uh, of the UN and should, uh, and, and, and should spend more time uh, 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 more time on the political and diplomatic uh, uh, level. Uh, in the case of Kofi Annan and probably applied to his predecessors, some 60-70% of his time was spent on <coughs> diplomatic and political matters, which, 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 which caused huge amount of travel uh, each, each week uh, of the Secretary General's life. Uh, so in, in, in let, let, me, let me end by saying that in the case of the oil for food uh, a program and the and the alleged scandals that arose out of it, uh, that arose out of it, um, Kofi Annan uh, acted uh, absolutely uh, correctly and appropriately uh, in appointing an independent commission uh, and giving it the fullest fullest possible cooperation, and uh, it, uh, the result was really saving 
uh, saving his reputation uh, and, and to a great extent the reputation of the United Nations. So in answer to your question, Dan, I think it was both appropriate and successful. <coughs> Thank you. Uh, it's an interesting uh, comment, this comment on the, the oil for food um, uh, account being too big to handle. Because too big to handle may also describe certain other things that are expected of the United Nations in other contexts where problems can arise for similar reasons, though in wildly different situations. So it might be interesting to talk about that uh, as we continue the conversation. <coughs>